Hello Window Makers! Inspired by the blue and white china, this runner is really a centerpiece. I will use this blue flower pattern. I also dyed the muslin in a deep indigo hue. I am delighted with the result, so I will start working with the templates. I will use the traditional method of making cathedral windows, preparing square and triangular units in light muslin. In the case of triangular units, it is necessary to cut with scissors due to their complex shape when starting. Templates are also helpful for folding the pieces easily. When I'm done, it's time to close the units properly. In this case, I will insert the blue fabric inside to contrast and highlight the shape. I carefully close the center and the corners, securing everything correctly. If you're passionate about mastering the cathedral windows technique and passing it down to future generations, check this course is your go-to guide for diving deep into the world of cathedral windows. Perfect for everyone from beginners to seasoned quilters. With over 15 different ways to create these stunning windows, you simply can't miss out. All the material in the course will be available for you to use in your future classes. Enroll now and become a Cathedral Windows instructor for your community. I place each unit until the table runner is formed. I take the units in pairs and sew them carefully. I cut the windows. I put the windows on each frame and I secure them with a pin. I apply the windows, sewing them neatly. I prepare a piece of muslin for the back of the table runner. It is preferable, at this stage, to sew by hand along the edge. Handmade gifts transmit that magic that you keep with each touch of your hands. Life is intertwined in these pieces of fabric. The time you spend doing the project, your thoughts and feelings while you sew. This is how we give ourselves almost without realizing it. Thank you so much for your time and attention. God bless you.